Theology is a simple word that really means words about God. So anytime you say the word God or dear God or dear God help me, you are doing theology. So theology isn't um, only for scholars and people who read thick books. Theology is what we all do because we believe in Jesus. 
Theology is the study of God. So a theologian is somebody who studies about the words of God. Karl Barth did something very important. In his country, the church decided that they were going to be mean to some people just because they were different. That's weird. Being mean to people just because they're different? But do you know what Karl Barth said? Everybody else thought it was just fun. But he said, how can that be like Jesus? Jesus isn't mean to people just because they're different. And Karl Barth saw something that was coming down the road. That people were going to be mean to other people. And he had to tell them, you have to stop. Because following Jesus is about righteousness and justice. Remember that? That's right. It's righteousness and justice. Yeah.
our scripture today is found in Hosea 11, 1 through 9. And it goes like this. When Israel was only a child, I loved him. I called out my son, called him out of Egypt. But when others called him, he ran off and left me. He worshipped the popular gods. He played at religion with, with toy gods. And still, I stuck with him. I let Ephraim, I rescued him from human bondage. But he never acknowledged my help, never admitted that I was the one pulling his wagon. Then I lifted him like a baby to my cheek, and I bent down to feed him. Now he wants to go back to Egypt, or go over to Assyria. Anything but return to me. That's why his cities are unsafe, the murder rate skyrockets, and every plan to improve things fall to pieces. My people are bent on leaving me. They pray to God Baal for help. He doesn't lift a finger to help them. But how can I give up on you? How can I turn you loose, Israel? How can I leave you to be ruined, like Emma, and devastated, like Luckless Zebin? I can't bear to even think such thoughts. But inside, churns in protest, and so I'm not going to act on my anger. I'm not going to destroy Ephraim. And why? Because I am God, and not human. I'm the Holy One, and I'm here in your midst. Word of the Lord. But how does our scripture match our saints? Our saint today talks to people about how they were treating others, and how the church was treating others, and how it wasn't right, and that you're not supposed to be mean to people that are different, and that Jesus would never do that. In our scripture, God talks about how the people were treating him, and they weren't treating him very nice, and they didn't think it was a big deal, but they were, they were worshiping fake gods. That's kind of crazy. Actually, that's kind of a waste of time, because if a god isn't real, why would you do that? God says that he loves them, and he's been with them, and he's saved them from their own slavery, and he just wants them to be his people. But they just can't see that, and so they are going to have to learn. But in order to learn, they may have to go through a really hard time. That's right. That happened to Karl Barth, too. Nobody listened. People weren't listening to Karl Barth, especially in his country. And they went ahead and they did it anyway. And they hurt a lot of people. God wants us to be his people. He wants us to love righteousness and justice. And he wants us to worship him and not some fake gods.
two more saints to go. Don't forget to come back next week. <laughs>